History and literature are filled with legendary sailors. Tristan Jones is a living link to this heritage. In over 50 years at sea, I've nearly starved and frozen to death in the Arctic, been shot at by warring Arabs and drug-running Colombians. I can't swim a stroke, but I've had six vessels go down under me. Tristan's books chronicle his life at sea. Descending from a long line of Welsh mariners, Tristan Jones single-handedly sailed the Atlantic nine times and three times has circumnavigated the globe. His life has become an inspiration to those who race the wind and waves. For Tristan, sailing is a labor of love, a unique blend of art and science, of instinct and technology. Alone, shielded only by his knowledge and experience, he confronts forces as large and powerful as the planet. This tub's a Kiberon. I've cleaned two feet of barnacles off a bottom, but there's $2,000 waiting for me in France if I can deliver this cranky hulk there. Only problem is it's the hurricane season. Sea life is a constant vigil against loneliness and against the miscalculations that can lead to disaster. Some sailors say they've never experienced fear in a storm, but I bloody well have. Historically, the wildest winds rage, sometimes up to 200 miles per hour, between the 40th and 50th south latitudes. This is the one area of the globe where no land blocks the path of the mighty winds as they are amplified by the Earth's rotation. I have often been in situations in which I did not think I would survive, but by God I would go on trying. I lifted my head and I checked the wind and the sails. And in that bygone moment, we had been one entity. The wind, the sea, the ship, and me. Since the first time we land creatures cast off from our safe shores, sailors have known what landsmen never can that on these fragile voyages, we experience an unforgettable harmony with a force mightier than ourselves. 